In this tutorial, we will show you how to provide a new certification audit on WINDA. This type of audit is provided when an existing training provider is issued a new certificate with different cycle dates. It may also be used for an existing training provider whose original certificate cycle has lapsed, meaning they must redo the initial audit. Log into WINDA in a Certification Body User account or an Auditor account and click on the Audits tab. Then click New Audit and choose the type of audit you will provide, in this case, a Certification Audit. Next, find the training provider whose audit you will be providing on the list. You can choose from the drop-down or you can search using their name or Training Provider WINDA ID. When you have selected the correct training provider, upload the new certificate which you have issued following the audit. Also enter the certificate number. You must also add all of the training courses which the training provider has been certified for. Remember that you will need to add all of the modules the training provider has been certified for during the recent audit. This includes the initial modules, the refresher modules, and all of the different facility types for which they have been audited and certified. Once you have finished adding all of the accredited courses, you will need to input the valid from and valid to dates on the new certificate. For a fixed training facility, mobile training facility, or digital learning, the certificate validity is two years. On-site training has a validity of one year. Finally, you need to include the audit report. This needs to use the GWO audit report template. Add the date the audit was completed on, the type of audit methodology, and the auditors who were involved in the audit. Once everything is completed, click Submit. Once you submit the audit, it must be reviewed by GWO staff before it can be approved. After you submit an audit, you will be able to see the status on the pending audits table. With the new submission, you can see the requested status. You can always check on the status by going to the pending audits table. If GWO has asked for additional clarification, you will receive an email notification. The pending audits table will also be updated with a status of waiting for resubmit. On the edit certification audit page, you can view any messages from GWO staff and you can see the entire log history if multiple messages have been sent. Once you review the submission you have made and provide any documents which needed to be corrected, you can write a comment back to GWO staff to explain the updates you have made. Afterwards, you click Submit, and the audit table will be updated to show that the submission is requested. Once the audit is approved by GWO staff, you will receive an email notification. You will now be able to find this certificate in the audits table. You can search for the training provider using their ID, the certificate number, or their name. Here you can see the new certification audit has been included in the table. You can see that the initial certification audit has a status of completed, and there have been dates added in the future for when the surveillance and recertification audits will be due.